<laughs> Hi everybody, uh, I'm Jason Hernandez. Um, I, um, as one of my side projects, um, do some independent journalism as part of an outfit called the North Star Post. Um, uh, we focus a little bit um, on, on the Phoenix area where I'm from and Minneapolis, um, but our, our main focus is basically surveillance and, and kind of a domestic angle to it. So whereas The Intercept, um, Glenn Greenwald's paper, um, really covers that international aspect and does some really good hard-hitting journalism on that, they don't necessarily have the time to get down to how your local police department is spying on, spying on you, spying on your mother, on your friends. Um, so that's, we're kind of filling that gap. Um, and so because our uh, journalism is, is a bit critical um, and because we want to be able to work with sources privately, um, but we're also scattered, um, we were looking for a, an opportunity to, to host some software that could make us, um, allow us to be free from, from a service provider getting a warrant or the uh, subpoena. Um, so we have that legal independence. And so that's, that's why we really like Sandstorm. And first, thanks uh, you know, from the team. We, we love it. Um, you know, we're able to just really quickly get, get uh, together working on a story, even though we're scattered, um, scattered across the country. Uh, we know it's private because we have HTTPS uh, on our Sandstorm server. Um, it's self-hosted. Um, those, those are kind of the key things. We have some visibility in the update chain too. Um, and it's all free software. So. Um, I was just going to show you. So this article um, it's gotten kind of popular over the last couple days. Uh, it's a month old, but uh, it's about a company called Celebrite that um, is kind of a leader in, in cell phone forensics. Um, so if the police ever take your phone, they're probably going to plug it into this company's software and copy everything you deleted and didn't delete on there. Um, so I was just going to kind of show how we put this together. Um, and we did that um, in Sandstorm. Um, we first, up. yeah. So it's just I, I just was browsing, browsing Celebrite site, browsing some other sites, gathering data, um, and and threw that all in together, um, you know, and then snipping some graphics and, and whatnot to, um, you know, to prepare them for the article. Um, so this is like a clip from uh, Celebrite's. Uh, I've got some fun photos here. Um, celebrates uh, sales letter, basically arguing that, that they have a monopoly on this market, and, and they basically do. Um, so uh, that, you know, we just kind of throw all, all these documents together um, in file drop. Um, and then um, the article, the, the main core of the article um, is an other pad. Um, so we and throw uh, could load a little faster. <laughs> it's also it's also going over a DSL line. So uh, um, anyhow, it, yeah, because I want if they have to kick down my door, <laughs> um, so I'll deal with it. Um, so some notes. Um, you know, different places we were looking around, thrown together, and then um, this is, you know, this is pretty much the article as it showed up on, on North Star Post website. Um, and then, you know, and so we can kind of take a look at the article again. So there's um, some graphics from File Drop, and then this, anybody can guess what this is. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that is just a grain there where I tried to, while still being relatively general, give a pattern for how how celebrate or, or anybody hacks into a cell phone. Uh, yeah. So. Cool. 
And that, I mean, so that's that's kind of what we're doing. Um, why why we use Sandstorm? We like it a lot. Um, I'm always kind of trying out more apps and playing around with them. Um, you know, we'll see what works best for for something. Um, yeah. Any questions? Or? Yeah. How's, how's your experience setting it up and getting your sort of coworkers or co-conspirators to, to use it? Um, it was um, it was not too difficult. Uh, well, so the setup was a. Um, I started trying to get Sandstorm running almost immediately after the HTTPS uh, certificate stuff got sorted out because that was that was a necessary condition for us to do this. Uh, I mean, otherwise we're just trading upstream versus Prism, right? <laughs> uh, so, so um, I, I had a little bit of trouble because for some reason Opt was on like a five gig. Or, I, I told uh, Kenton helped me out, but uh, MongoDB just wanted more space than than there was. Um, so, you know, but uh, I really appreciate the help in getting getting support from y'all. Um, oh, and another one we also use Rocket Chat to collaborate. Um, so, uh, so we can find things out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, I, I think it's gotten easier um, since then. I also had a little bit of trouble with because um, I was probably like one, I, I don't know I was probably one of the first handful of people to try and get a certificate set up, and I had, it just seemed like the service was not working too right for the first week, and I was like, I'll give them a week or two before I <laughs> pass through. Um, but yeah, you know, after that, it's been been pretty pretty smooth. Um, I had to re I, I, I restarted the service like a week ago because it seemed a little funny, but um, it's been really solid. I sent Ashish this email, you know, pinged him at 100% uptime. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and then, yeah, and your colleagues, do they, do they take to it easily? Do they yeah. Do they about stuff you can't do? What's their take? Yeah, so, I mean, and that's been, um, you know, I've all, I, I'm the tech guy out of the three, but they're both, because they're both reporting on surveillance and whatnot, they, they're kind of a little bit more keyed into the idea that you don't necessarily want to put source documents on, on Dropbox. Um, so it's been pretty easy. Um, the, uh, the UI around sharing grains was a little bit um, unintuitive originally. It's it's definitely improving. I mean, I see just that that path is, is um, moving. Um, so yeah, it, it's not been too difficult to train them. Um, I mean, it's not a whole lot different from a like Google Docs once you just kind of kind of get that um, over to them. Yeah, I mean, there's still little bugs and glitches that you know, um, you know, or I. I Davros I tried to use and that's still not, not um, I, I think file file drop was easier for, for this. But um, yeah, it's been it's been pretty easy. You know, every once in a while I just have to step in and help them with the flow, but now now they're kinda used to it and it's gotten easier. Um, yeah. Are there any um, are there any apps that you wished existed on Sexwork? Yeah, so this is I, I just, you know, Friday afternoon when I was bored at my day job, I, uh, sorry boss, um, <laughs> I, I, I was, I was uh, listening to um, uh, the Logan CIJ conference, which is an investigative journalism conference, um, and I was reintroduced to Document Cloud, which is a really nice platform for, um, for analyzing, um, especially scanned documents, you can do OCR. Um, and you can highlight, and then you can even host them once once you're done. So that's really awesome. Um, and the Knight Foundation runs that, and they're great people. And if I'm going to trust somebody, I would trust them. But I'd rather just remove that from the equation if I'm dealing with the leaked document until it's ready to publish. Um, so that's yeah, it's just minimizing the number of points of failure. Um, so that's that's why I really like document. Anything else? Great, thank you.
Thank you.